Alright guys, we are back and we're getting ready to start round one of the year seven playoffs. So looks like we're going to be facing off against the AC to Tampa Bay Lightning, a team, like I said, we're very familiar with. If it's not Florida we're playing in the, uh, in the playoffs, it's got to be Tampa, at least in one of the first two rounds that we're playing these guys. So uh, they finished off the regular season at 42, 34, and 6. So we'll take a look at their uh, the players afterwards. But we got some changes to uh, look at. So we ended off the season once again on a very good note. We ended up first se first place in the East with 53, 23, and 6. I mean, if we take a look at our stats, actually, no, we go into the uh, GM tracker because I have to do staff upgrades too, see if we can upgrade anything. I mean, if we take a look at our. Uh, statistics for the past couple of years see we had a lot more overtime wins than we did uh overtime losses than we did last year but we had the exact same number of wins once again so we ended up with 53 wins again 112 points same amounts of goals for uh let in a good bit more goals this year but still i mean once again an amazing amazing year for us so it looks like we're gonna go for our third straight stanley cup victory in this playoffs so let's take a look at the um Staff ability, so I can upgrade something. Uh, I can upgrade the amateur scout. I can upgrade the pro scout, or I can upgrade the assistant coach. Very detailed information on in-game injuries. Uh, what do we want to do? Amateur scout. Amateur scout might not be bad because then we could just keep scouting people, but it's not really gonna matter about scouting all that much anymore. Uh, I think we'll just do assistant coach. Yeah, we'll just do a, we'll do assistant coach, so that's good. This is really the only thing we can upgrade. Okay, uh, da, 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 we have to make sure our injuries are off. So we'll go do that right now. Injuries are on. That's why I meant injuries are on. Injuries are on. Good. Did that. Upgrade the scale. And yep, that's pretty much it. Okay, so let's take a look at the Tampa Bay Lightning here. Okay, so let's go to Tampa Bay and check out what they got. Okay, so first line, Tyler Ennis, blah, Tyler Ennis, Steven Stamkos, and Jacob Voracek. Okay, I don't like the idea that they have three snipers on the, four, on the first line, but still we know what these guys are about. Stamkos, Ennis, and Voracek, they cut, they're probably going to click very well together. We know what Ennis and Voracek. We know what Ennis can do in these playoffs. We should we should just say that. We know what Tyler Ennis can do in the playoffs. Voracek not all that much, but Steven Stamkos as well. We've kept them off the board for the past couple times that we played them, but we know what Ennis can do. So we're just gonna keep an eye out for Tyler Ennis in these playoffs. But still, it's a pretty good first line. Second line, uh, t uh, Radula, Neme oh Jesus, Nemestikov and. Corey Conacher. Okay, so I've never heard of that Nemestikov guy. He probably is a prospect for them. Uh, who's been working up. Uh, working up. He's a uh, 77 playmaker, so he's probably got some good offensive stats if they got him on the second line. Radulin and Conacher, yeah, more third, more third liners than second liners, but still, Corey Conacher's probably got a wicked shot, and he's fast too, so it's not, it's not overly bad. Third line: Brett Connolly, Antoine Vermette, and Richard Panic. Um, yeah, they got a lot of snipers on this team. They got one, I mean, just through the first three lines, they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six snipers throughout the first nine people. So they're going to be taking tons of shots on that. So hopefully your defense could keep down these guys. But uh, Vermette gives some good depth on the third line. He's a good third liner. Um, Panic, Connolly, and I guess they give some offense down there. And then for the fourth line, uh, Jean Merson, McMillan, and Tony Romano. They're on the fourth line. Yep, so they got two two way forwards in the grinder, so that's a pretty good fourth line. So they got their players laid out pretty dang pretty dang well if I'm if I'm not gonna stay uh if I'm gonna say so myself. Uh it's the only, it's that wild card guy, that just uh Nemestikov guy who's uh worrying me a little bit. But they don't have uh, all the old old Tampa Bay guys now. They got much a much younger much younger Tampa Bay team now, so that's pretty their offense is pretty good. Defense, uh, okay, so Victor Hedman and Matt Carl are still here on the first line D, so that's a pretty good first line D. Second pair, they got uh, Aronin and Keith Audley. Okay, so that's pretty good uh, as well. And then Ol Oberg and Matt Green, I think, or Greeny. I don't know if that's Green or Greeny. Whatever, but uh, Oberg is kind of the weak link down there for the third defensive pair, but otherwise it's pretty good. They got five good defensemen. And in net. They have Helberg. 
Oh, okay. So, ooh, 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 that guy who we tried to sign in free agency. So they don't have. That's right. I forgot about that. They got rid of uh, Limbacks not on the team anymore. So they have this. So that that's their only weak spot. They got pretty good defense. They got a very good laid out offense, but they have no goalie right now. So they got an 80 overall goalie in the net. And uh, so we have to definitely take advantage of that. So that's Tampa Bay's only weakness. They got a good offense, decent defense, no goalie. So that's should that's the only problem for the Tampa Bay Lightning right now. And we got that though. We got the good goalie. So I'm just gonna check something out here because I know it says Thomas Grice in there, but I just want to make sure that Gordon Peckham is in the net. Yes, he is. Very good. And we got much better depth this year. Players laid out. So let's keep it going, dude. For game one at home. Have home field home ice advantage throughout the whole entire playoffs here. We know how to deal with Tampa Bay. It's just going to be just keep Tyler, keep the first line off. Keep Tyler Ennis off. Keep Steven Stamkos off. And keep Voracek off. That's all we have to do. Just take tons of – I know they're going to be taking tons of shots because they got lots of snipers. But all we have to do is just take shots on this goalie. Dude, he's not good. We can get it done. So here we go. Game one against the Tampa Bay Lightning at home in Philly. So here we go. Get off to a good start, guys, as we always do. So here we go. Get off to a good start. First period, 1-1. One one. Okay. Victor Rask going to power play. Very good. Get one's past Helbert, but Corey Conacher ties it back up very shortly afterwards. So 1-1 one one after 1 here in this game. Shots are pretty much even. All right, guys. Step it up here in the second. Second period, 2-1. Uh, to one. Okay. Another power play goal for Tony Radula. Okay, they take a two to one lead. We got plenty of shots on that. They have we have definitely more shots on that. So Gordon Peckham got to buckle down a little bit here. In the third period, down two to one. So here we go. Come on, somebody step it up for us. Power play. I can't capitalize. Power play again. There we go. Got Chenuk. Not in the power play, but right after it. Very good. Come on, step it up here. Power play for them. Oh geez, that's a long one. Good penalty kill. There we go. Eric Wellwood. Six minutes left. Come on, buckle down defense. Buckle down. Very good, very good. Eric Wellwood gets the game winner with six minutes left in the third, and we come back from two to one down in the third, come back with two goals, two unanswered goals in the third from Galchenyuk and Eric Wellwood to win game one, three to two, 39 shots on the net. See, man, well, that's all we had to do is take lots of shots on the net, and uh, pretty much we will go get by this goalie, man. That's all we have to do is just take lots of shots on the net. So that's a pretty good game there. Gordon Peckham only let up two. Two for the first game, so that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, let's see, any injuries to Tampa Bay or us? Uh, to, to, to any other really big injuries? Well, Washington lost Perot and Brulee's out, but nothing really that big. All right. So game two, we got off to the we got we got the goal in the first period. So just gotta keep doing that again. Once again, just take lots of shots on this goalie, man. Just take lots of shots on him. Something's eventually gonna go in. So here we go. Game two, first period. One to nothing. There we go. Claude Giroux. Giroux starts out the scoring here with 6.57 left in the first. Once again, lots of shots on net. Nothing. They don't have as many shots on net as they did in the last game. So here we go. Second period. Uh, they tie it up one to one. Radula again on the power play. Geez, that's his second goal in two games. Second goal for Radula these playoffs. So once again, not really much offense here. But all right, we got to step it up in the third period. Once again, tied one to one going into the third. Here we go. Third period, somebody step it up for us. Somebody step it up. Ah, jeez, Tyler Ennis, there it is. There it is, power play. Ah, can't capitalize on it. Power play for them. Good penalty kill. Come on, somebody step it up here again. Come on, we need a late one. We need a late one. Ah, uh, we need a late one. Ah, jeez, an empty netter for Ennis. Ennis gets two. We knew that was going to happen, guys. We knew that. We knew they were going to bite us in the ass some, at least in one of these games. And Tyler Ennis takes some control. Magnus Helberg, an 80 overall goalie, gets a one goal. Gives, gives up that only first goal to Giroud, but then shuts the door on us for the rest of the, the second and the third period. Ennis has two goals. And Tampa Bay comes away with a 3-1 to one win in game two. All right, so they split they split our series. These guys are a pain in the ass. They're exactly like Florida, dude. They're a pain in our ass. Okay, any injuries yet? Nope. No injuries. All right, going back to Tampa Bay. Going back to Tampa Bay. So there we go, game three. We got to step it up here, man. We need some offense, man. Two goals and one goal. For these past two games, that's not good enough. We need some more goals past this game. It's an 80 overall goalie. Come on now. Offense, step it up. So here we go. First period. Ah, Jesus, man. Three to nothing. Conacher, two goals from Conacher and Richard Pant. And Richard Pant gets one. Pulock gets one as well. But three to one lead. Now only on seven shots. Come on, Peckham. Jesus. He only stopped. They took seven shots and he let three of them go by. 
Ay, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Buckle down. Ton we have tons of shots on that, and freaking Hellberg is just stopping them all. All right. Down by two in the second. We got plenty of time left to come back, so let's go. We need a big second here. Second period, nothing happening. Jesus Christ. Ugh, what is with this goalie? All right. Big third here. Come on. Get some offense going. Power play. Can't capitalize on it. Power play. Uh, that's what it is. Power play. Stamp goes four to one. Nope. Not coming back from this one either. Just dug. We just dug an early hole. Dug an early hole for us and couldn't climb back out of it. 33 shots on net. How are we getting schooled by an 80 overall goalie? I do not know. Do not know. Conacher had two goals. Matt Carl had two assists. Former Flyers everywhere. So Tampa Bay takes game three. Four to one. Where is our offense at, man? One goal. Two goals. One. Well, actually, three goals. One goal. One goal. Come on, man. Where is our offense at? First line. Step it up. Jesus. Gordon Peckham. How about you save some shots, too? I mean... I know, I know it's just our offense is just doing nothing for you right now, but, I mean, you got to save some shots, too. I mean, three goals on seven shots, that's terrible. You're, like Anthony says, you're playing like Johan Hedberg out there. Jesus. All right, come on, guys. We need to we need to step it up now. We can't go back home three to losing down the series three to one. We need to split this series right here, right now. We cannot afford to go down in this series. So here we go. Game four, we need to split the series. Need to split this series. This is a must win for us here. Come on, offense. Come alive, please. Please, please get some goals passed. Here we go. First period. Nothing, nothing. All right. Shots are pretty much even. Okay. Even period. Come on, guys. Jesus. Second period. Nothing, nothing again. My God. This this goalie. 80 overall. What the hell is wrong with this? I don't know what's wrong with this picture. Come on. It's been it's been like four per four straight periods that now that we have not scored a goal. Come on, offense, step it up here. Third period, power play. Come on, man, power play again. Come on, my God, my God, power play. Oh my God, <laughs> cannot capitalize on it. Going to overtime, power play for them. Good penalty kill. Come on now, come on, power play. Jesus Christ, this goalie, this 80 overall goalie, dude. This 80 overall goalie, and thank you, Braden Shen, the second overtime. Dear God, Gordon Peckham stopped 41 shots. I mean, he play, he gave us that win. He gave us that win. That's all. That's all can be said there. He gave us that win there. My God, that was terrible. Only one goal again. I mean, that's all we needed. Shen got the game winner, but my God. Ay ay ay. Oh my God. Oh my god. What are you going to do there? Alright, so it looks like Tampa Bay lost Carson McMillan. He's out eight to nine weeks, so he's done. He's done for the playoffs. He is done for the playoffs, so he was there. I forget who he was, where he was at, but. Alright, so we split that series. Split that series. We needed that win there, but once again, it's just there's just no offense out here right now. There's just no offense whatsoever. I'm I'm tempted to just switch up the lines a little bit just to give some balance out, but I don't know. I do not know. I mean, we won the game. Gordon Peckham stood on his head that game, got us that win. We needed that win very badly going back home. All right, we need this win here, guys. We need this win. We need some offense. That's all I can say. We need some offense. I don't know what's up with their 80 overall goalie. Hell, he's just doing that good. Doing that well, but we need to win here. We need to win. Once again, this is another must-win game. Can't go back to Tampa Bay down 3-2. to two. So come on here, offense, please get some goals. For, uh, thank you, Victor Rask, before I even started off. Thank you. All right, let's finish this off. First period, two to nothing. There you go, Victor Rask and Hunter Shinkaruk. Thank you very much. Shinkaruk scored 50 seconds left in the period. Very good. Two to nothing lead. Finally, we got, we got a lead after the first period. Thank you very much. All right. Now we just have to hold this lead. Second period. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Shots are pretty much even. No goal scoring happened in the second, so we got two to nothing lead. Routines in place, Peckham. Just hold it down, buddy. Defense plays some good defense. Here we go. Oh, my God. Just when I say that. Jacob Voracek, two to one. All right, hold it down, man. Power play. God damn it. Tyler Ennis on the power play. Tyler Ennis on the power play. Another power play. Oh, my God. Going to overtime again. Power play for us in overtime. Jeez, ah, can't capitalize on it. Oh, my God. Ennis and Voracek are the only people that scored. Son of a bitch on a power play. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. I knew I shouldn't have scored. Knew I shouldn't have never traded them, man. 
Helberg, dude. Helberg. Helberg, Helberg, standing on his head. He's standing on his head. Don't know what to do. Do not know what to do. Uh, Simons broke his leg. Uh, okay. Well, Duncan Simons broke his leg. Broken, broken leg. All right. Bexa, get up here. Bexa, get up here. You're playing. Just gonna fill you in. You're playing Bexa. Bexa. And Bexa, I'm just gonna throw him on the penalty kill. Why not? Bexa. I'm going to change something up here. Shinkarok, you're going to the right wing, and I'm going to change the wings on Victor Rask and Jeff Skinner. We need something here. We need something to get s something to change up here. I'm going to move Shinkarok over to the left, uh, Gautchenko to the left, Shinkarok to the right, Skinner to the right, Victor Rask to the, to the left. I don't know if that'll help out anything, but we're just not scoring goals, man. We're just not scoring goals, and Ennis and Voracek are just completely kicking our ass right now. They're just completely kicking our ass. Just no, There's just no offense right now. Yeah, I know the scout. I really couldn't care less about the scout right now. Um, just keep scouting defense. We don't really need forwards that much. We're not going to have a high draft pick, maybe. Uh, I need the scout projected. Fourth, second, third. No, that's pretty much it for defense. All right, just scout those goalies, then why not? There's a couple top tens in the QMJHL, Debo and Flurry. Just scout them for the rest of the time. Just do five weeks. I ignored the changes. Of course I did. Of course I ignored the changes. Why wouldn't I? Scouting. Scouting assignment goalies. QMJHL, where you at? Just do five weeks. Alright. Okay. I mean, Stamkos has only scored one goal. Ennis and Borachek are kicking our ass right now. Hopefully changing those guys' wings will change it up, but I don't know here. We need to score goals and head on Helberg. That's all I can say, man. It's 80 over a goalie. I don't know how he's saving all this stuff, but we need a game here. Do or die. Come on. Offense, score some goals, please. Here we go. First period, 2 to nothing. Thank you. Jeff Skinner coming to play here. Power play goal for him and a regular. So he scores two in the first pass Helberg. 2 to nothing lead. So come on, guys. Hold it down. We need more goals. That's all I can say. We need another big second period. Second period... 2 to nothing again. All right, we got 2 to nothing lead going into the third. We blew it last game. Defense, hold it down this game, man. Come on now. Hold it down. Do not let up anything. Power play. Oh, my God. Uh, Shinkirk with a shorty. Thank you. Shinkirk with a shorty. Another power play for them. Jesus. How long is that? My God. Dear God, man. That was a long-ass power play, but there we go. That thing was the deflator for the Tampa Bay Lightning there. Hunter Shinkirk, the only goal of the third period, but a shorty. Past Helberg. And uh, Gordon Peckham comes back and gets a shutout. So that's good for him. Skinner had two goals. Ryan Murray had two assists. Gordon Peckham with the shutout. And, uh, okay, so Matt Green's been injured for a week, so they lost another defenseman. So this has been a back-and-forth series all game. All game. Yeah, look, win one, lose one, lose. Well, actually, win this game. We got away with one with a third-period comeback. Uh, couldn't come back in this game. Couldn't And uh, dug ourselves deep. Crazy, crazy in this game in double overtime. Blew a third period lead. Shut it down for this game. And now it's all going to come down to this. Going back home. Game seven. Once again. Always, like I said, it's only fitting. Whenever we play the team in Florida, it's in team in Florida. It always goes to six or seven games with this with these guys. They're just a pain in my ass. So here we go. Game seven at home. Peckham coming off a shutout. Let's go. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Maybe the change in the wings was good. I don't know. But here we go. Game 7 at home. Fans are on. The, fans are going crazy. So here we go. We need to win this game. We need to win this game. So here we go. First period, 2-2. Two to two. Okay, so Corey Conacher gets 2, but then the first line definitely stepped their game up after going down 2 to nothing. Galchenyuk and Giroux. Drew score with 27 seconds left in the first to tie it back up, so good. Not like we lost anything, so very good. Tied it back up at two after going down the two. Thank you. All right, that was a bad first, guys. Bad first. He got down, got down low, but now you're coming back. So we got some fire under our ass. So here we go. I should really should do a time six for the rest of this game. You know what? Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll do a time six for the rest of the game. So here we go. Second period here. Tied game two to two. Power play again. We're giving up way too many powers. Thank you. Power play goal for Victor Rask. The raging Russian. There we go. I think he's, I don't know if he's Russian or Swedish. I think he's Swedish. 
I think he's a super sweet. I don't know why I said Russian. I don't know. I think he's a sweet. But there we go. Oh, shit. I meant, I meant to do that. Well, went a little bit past. But so we got 3-2 to two lead going into the third. 18 minutes left. Uh, Peter Laviolette timeout, I guess. <laughs> so here we go. All right. Up one. We need another goal here. Need another goal here. Uh, power play for them. Good penalty kill. Power play for them. Come on. Penalty kill. Good penalty kill. Killed it off. Five minutes left. Come on, defense. Hold it down. Thank you. 3-2. to two. Win for us. Victor Rask's pick blah, blah. Victor Rask's power play goal in the second period definitely was the game winner in this game and we just held it down. Gordon Peckham shut the door after giving up those two first period goals to Corey Conacher and then he just shut the door for the rest of the way. So whew, man. Escape the escape we escaped the team in Florida once again, man. Giroux and Giroux and Getchenyuk both had two points each in that game, so we escaped it. We escaped it, and I mean, Duncan Simons was the only person that got injured, and we take care of the Tampa Bay Lightning in seven. Didn't want to go to seven. Should have ended it way earlier than that, but, I mean, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? That's fine. The current round of the playoffs is over. I like to do, and it looks like in the second round, we got the Carolina Hurricanes. So, finally, another team who we have never played before in the playoffs, so good. I like to play these new teams to see what, the, what their team's been doing, so... It looks like we got the Stahl brothers, hopefully, in this game. So let's check out the uh, stats. The stats for this uh, this la that last playoff series wasn't good. I don't think anybody did uh, spectacular in that series. Probably a lot of people did pretty bad. No one did overly amazing. I know that for a fact. So let's check it out here. So Zinkerik had five five points in seven games, and then we got tons of guys with four. Braden Chen had four. We got Chenik had four. Skinner had four, and Giroux had four. So got the second line. Second line definitely helped us out a little bit. Shen and Skinner definitely helped it out. Shinkrook just had to take matters into his own hands and get five. So, I mean, it's not that bad. Victor Rask has three points, but look at that. He does have three goals. He he may only have three points, but he has three goals. And that's what that's what I'd like to see from Victor Rask. That's what he should have did more this regular season. Get more goals than, than assists. I don't care if you get any assists. I don't care. That's what Shen and Skinner are supposed to do. They're supposed to help each other out. They're supposed to give you the points. So Coots had two, O'Reilly had two, Eric Walwood had one, Zabinajad had one, Jaden Hart had nothing, and Ulf Bajork had nothing as well. So, I mean, we probably got a bunch of negative players. Once again, it's just the fourth line and Eric Walwood with the negatives on there. Defense, uh, duh, 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 duh. so Ryan Murray's still carrying over from the regular good, uh, the good regular season that he had. Four assists, so he has four points. Theodore has two. Morrow, Joseph Morrow, and Bieksa has one as well. So he comes in for two games and has more points than Duncan Simons had probably the entire playoffs last year, which I think is true. Pulak had one. Petrovic had one. Simons is out with injury, so I might just keep him out of his injury. He's not going to be helping us out whatsoever. And Gordon Peckham, I mean, he played seven games, 4-2-1, and one, but that goals against average is not bad for playing seven games. 1.75 goals against average in seven games, so that's pretty good. Save percentage of 90, his save percentage is pretty good, 94.06, and he does have two shutouts in the playoffs already, so not going to be two shutouts. He has two shutouts? Does he? Three to nothing. Oh, yeah, three to nothing and the one to nothing win. That's right, okay. I forgot about the one that nothing win. That's right. So yeah, he does have two shutouts already. So I mean, he he's been having a ton of shutouts this year, in general. But all right, so we escape uh, escape the uh, Toronto. The, oh my God, can't talk the Tampa Bay Lightning in seven games. Like I said, it's just these teams of Florida that give us the most trouble. And it looks like in round two we're gonna have the Carolina Hurricanes. So let's check out the playoff tree, see how everything turned out for the first round. So let's check out over here. So. Uh, yep, so we took care of Tampa Bay in seven. Uh, Washington swept Pittsburgh. Uh, Carolina, so we were the sixth seed Carolina Hurricanes, upset this third seed Toronto Maple Leafs in seven. And Winnipeg swept out Jersey. So we had two sweeps, two sweeps, and two series just went to seven and two sweeps. So that's pretty good. In the East and in the West, uh, St. Louis took care of Detroit in five. Uh, Vancouver took care of San Jose in, in six. Uh, the six seed Phoenix Coyotes upset the Western Conference champs from last year, the Anaheim Ducks, in five. And the Edmonton Oilers took care of Colorado in five as well. So here we go. Here's our Elite Eight in the West. We got the first seed St. Louis Blues against the six seed Phoenix Coyotes and the second seed Vancouver Canucks against the four seed Edmonton Oilers. That should be a good series. 
And in the East, we got the first seed Philadelphia Flyers against the sixth seed Carolina Hurricanes, and the second seeded Washington Capitals against the four seeded Winnipeg Jets. So uh, once again, I'd like to I'd like to play teams we haven't played in playoffs before. So this should be awesome. If we advance to the next round, we'll play another team who we haven't played before in the playoffs. I think now we haven't played Winnipeg before, nor Washington. So this should be an interesting series going up against the Carolina Hurricanes. And uh, round two will be coming out tomorrow, guys. We will see you then.